why would anybody have the courage to come out here, hop on, you know, YouTube and put out a video about a cryptocurrency project that could potentially hit $17. Now, is that just me wanting to have people click on this video? Absolutely not, because I'm a true firm believer that Jasmine will do exactly what they're saying they're going to do. Now, there is um, a lot going on with Jasmine. Um, some people are just really blind to it. It's starting and building and just it's growing in Japan. That's where it's starting. And it's not, you know, it's not that, you know, everybody knows that when you start to build something and it's something that's very valuable, it takes time to get to where it needs to be to grow, to scale to that level of a capacity where people could actually look at this as something that they could use every single day of their lives. Not to mention when you're talking about technology, Jasmine has put together a team that has a very uh, strong technological skill set. Um, they are starting to build a community, not only in different platforms, social media platforms, but a community of investors. And I'm talking about venture capital investors. And that's where big money starts to flow into these cryptocurrency projects so guys if you guys are interested in listening to this video and then hopefully you gain some massive knowledge behind the video make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button because we're coming out with a bang and it's time to get ready um i believe that we're going to see some pretty pretty big parabolic moves hopefully hopefully within the last quarter of this year which we're really approaching very fast um, if not, you know, throughout 2025 into 2026, because why do I say 2026? I don't think the bull run's going to go to 2026, but I do believe Jasmine's going to continue building this project that may push the price on this coin higher, even though we're slated to be in a bear market. So again, guys, this is not financial advice. This is only some education from someone who is very, very, very supportive of Jasmine crypto junction sony you name it i have a lot of belief in this project so let's get into this video guys so one of the biggest biggest reasons that i'm invested in jasmine and why i have so much uh belief in this project is because you know it's a project that's building behind something that's extremely valuable for any type of growth within any business entity with any personal entity without it actually basically uh connects to every uh, thing or item or piece of technology that we have right so data is at the forefront of everything you know you hear these comments where people are saying data is like the new oil or the new gold um, and it's extremely true it's a very true statement because we utilize data in our everyday lives you know we use uh, data that's picked up for you know our cell phone applications that we use to travel right so if you're ever in your car and you're trying to go to a destination that you're not aware of obviously your phone captures uh data of the globe and understands different longitudes and latitudes and understanding where you're at and that's how your phone is able to get you from one destination to the next because it picks up a lot of data information big big corporations are built off of data collection data analysis any type of uh you know um benefit that could come to anybody is used by data collection right uh we collect data to get better at what we do now when you put this in perspective right so we're talking about going fast forward into web3 technology we have to understand that with any type of technology and we're talking about web2 you know web everything um everything that we use is simply put because of data that has been collected in the past to be able to give us a brand new outlook into life and when you apply data to your everyday living i mean everything that pertains to technology is data so this is a project that i believe is going to be able to go extremely uh wide <laughs> and the cool thing about jasmine is that not only are they about data they're about integrating artificial intelligence with that data system integrating gpus integrating a massive massive structure of technology to be able to grow this project out so let's talk about some of the future plans that jasmine has if you guys are not familiar with this this is the jasmine homepage. now i'm always going to be that person that goes straight to um the source when i want to get information right because you can literally go on google and type in whatever you want and you're going to get some information some of it may be accurate some of it may be inaccurate but 
I mean, this is coming straight from the uh, website of Jasmine. And I always like to look at what's coming out, what's going on. Um, so you just click that news tab and literally it gives you a breakdown of everything that you need to know about what's going on with the project. Now, what I love about it is if, you know, you obviously, if you're investing in this project, you want to get to know everything about it, right? So who's running it? Um, it gives you profiles of, you know, the whole team of Jasmine, which is beautiful. I love it because these are all well seasoned developers, right? So when you look at cryptocurrency projects, generally, most of them are younger and, you know, it's not to discredit anybody younger or anybody older. Uh, you just have seasoned uh, individuals that have been dealing with technology over you know decades so they know how technology moves and how it operates so they have some sort of not an advantage but just that knowledge base behind them which is great but but they have you know Hera in there who's a younger gentleman who is very I think he's really taking uh the reins with Jenkshin and uh moving that forward but you know if you come down here you can see uh some of the partnerships this is uh you know interesting factor that I always like to talk about because um I believe Binance is really you know, there's a lot of people that think Binance is basically, uh, you know, that it's going to impact Jasmine by them not e not releasing them out of the innovation zone. But if you ask me, there's <laughs> there's a tie to Jasmine with Binance, uh, especially in Japan. Um, so, you know, I think that's all uh, something that's uh, specifically played out for them in general. Guys, if you can, if you guys follow uh, crypto maximus or maximus crypto uh make sure you guys follow him on his twitter uh he comes out and really gives a breakdown of uh jasmine and wits uh very very uh um high profile individual in my opinion you know i look up to him his research is very 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 amazing uh, big shout out to him and uh you know crypto future my boy rob you know these guys are really putting in work um, and you know these are guys to look up to because they're very very diligent on what they research and put out extremely successful information to help you understand what's really going on in detail with Jasmine guys. And we're going to get there uh, here at Run My Crypto. We're going to start getting some more deep dives, uh, really breaking it down. You know how I used to do with ICP Internet Computer. Shout out to Internet Computer. I still think that's one of the best projects uh, next to Jasmine uh, for this coming bull run. So big expectations for Jasmine Internet Computer and Render. Those are my big three. Love them to death. Um, so you have all the Jasmine uh, partnerships in here um, and it's 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 very um, who's of you to come in here um, specifically to the Jasmine.global website and go through some of this material. You know, it's going to help you have a better understanding of the direction and the scale that uh, Jasmine's put forth to to try to accomplish in the coming years, guys. And um, the secure PC um, still still going strong. So you could actually come in here and take a look at all of the momentum that Jasmine's building in uh, their in their website. So, you know, back uh, back in the days, it wasn't really a whole lot going on here. Um, but I always like to take everybody back to the foundation of what Jasmine is. Um, and they they were initially founded upon uh, creating a personal data locker, uh, basically to have the ability to control and manage data through security and through personal ownership of data. So. Um, you know, I always uh, go back to this is that, you know, we have uh, whenever we start to utilize platforms like Instagram and Facebook. Guess what, guys? We're giving away our data. You know, it's so crazy. You have those conversations on the phone and what pops up in your story feeds. Yes, exactly what you were talking about. So data is being tracked through all of our devices. So, you know, keep in mind that that's something that's going on. And what Javmi initially was trying to do with this PDL locker, well, not trying what they have accomplished with a partnership of Panasonic was to create this personal data locker where you could use, uh, you know, you're basically putting a screen on or a filter on your data uh, to be able to uh, have the ability uh, to share or not share. Um, and if you do share, there is a possibility that you gain rewards through Jasmine tokens, uh, which is pretty, pretty interesting. And, and that's one of the biggest, biggest factors that I love Jasmine as a project in general. So now let's get into the the grit, right? Let's get into that that uh, that tough uh, conversation or that tough uh, you know thing that people don't want to talk about is how in the world would somebody think that Jasmine could get to seventeen dollars? Now, Jasmine has uh, basically over the you know the last year or two has created um, basically a huge foundation, right? They're they're building a foundation that 
you know, just it's so wide in and scalable and, you know, it has the ability to just rise and rise and rise. And as it starts to rise, the use cases and utility for this project are going to be pretty massive, massive so that you don't even understand. Yes, we could sit here today and complain that we have not gone beyond two cents in the last, you know, from March, you know, or yeah, from about March, March 2024, we've seen a, in June a 0.04. Uh, but yeah, we're back down to that point uh, zero two cent. But here's the deal. You know, we're overlooking the fact that we're in a beginning stage of a bull run. What have other projects done? We look at Bitcoin. Yes, it came out with a bang, hit that 70,000. But then we've been bouncing back and forth from 50 to 60,000. So it's the same thing across the board. But once Bitcoin gets that massive breakout, everything is going to start, you know, breaking out catastrophically right so that's what we're waiting for but you know that's just short term and as an investor being a short term mindset is no good you know you got to be in here for the long haul and it's not you know if you get the money get the money thing out of your head and get uh you know the vision of what the company's going to do and that's where the money will come you know it, it's just like anything else if you put money in front of everything that you do it's really not going to give you the satisfaction of what you're building and what you know where your value lies um, so that's very important for you to keep in mind, uh, when you invest in anything period. So, um, you know, the $17 KPI is basically a building. Um, it's a target and it's something that has been produced by Jasmine. And what they've done was they put together a KPI system that's going to go against the market cap valuation system. Now, um, in a, in a video that's coming up, I'm going to basically break everything down. So this is going to be a long form video um, that's going to break down this whole system. Um, I picked up a lot of information from uh, Crypto Maxim or Maximus Crypto, um, you know, and there was a clip that he played on, you know, the whole breakdown. So I kind of went through it and dissected and understood it. Um, but <clears throat> basically, it makes a lot of sense, but it's going against the traditional market cap system that cryptocurrency has and as a business and as a business entity that's probably one of the things you want to do is steer away from something that's old-fashioned because you're building something that's going to be brand new and it's going to basically change the outlook of how web3 based crypto con cryptocurrency projects work so that makes a lot of sense so in a sense of you understanding from this point looking back to the traditional cryptocurrency markets it doesn't even make sense and it doesn't tie into what has happened in the past with crypto so that's something that a lot of people can't fathom they can't understand because obviously it's not happened now fast forward into the future into 2026 jasmine is really dedicated to bringing that company to the point where it's battling through uh, the process of reaching that 17 dollars kpi for jasmine token now it's going to go against the traditional market cap so you have to understand that as a whole and understand how that would work in order for you to be able to just stop thinking right here because you think right here, well, we only have 50 billion coins and we can only max out at X. But no, the process is to change that whole monetary system between the market cap and the value of the coin um, with a ratio factor of utilization of the actual coin. So. We're going to go through that, but that's where we get that $17 from. So if you guys watched all the way through to this part, that's that's where that comes from. So it's not a crazy wild prediction. But, you know, guys, to be honest, nobody can predict the cryptocurrency market. If we just go off of based on what we're looking at historically, there's no way that Jasmine can't hit 32 cents and there's no way that Jasmine can't hit 62 cents. And as a matter of fact, there's no way that Jasmine can't hit like a dollar twenty, dollar forty, um, based on the charts and the momentum and the ability to uh, be able to create demand for the tokens, which all these big venture capital companies are looking at Jasmine because number one, it's a big, big thing or big deal in Japan. A lot of venture capital companies. You have QNT uh banking looking to partnership up i mean there's just so much going on with big venture capital companies that everybody's putting an eye on it whenever you hear jasmine you hear there's something going on with quant uh whenever you hear jasmine you're talking about xrp uh you know sbi holdings uh you know blackrock um there's a lot of affiliation behind the scenes with venture capital companies that are now being and very interested in cryptocurrency so that's going to be huge huge factor for jasmine to be very successful 
um and i don't see why it's not going to come to fruition so um you know price predictions for jasmine guys sky's the limit i do believe that we'll see 32 60 um dollar 20 dollar 40 something like that to that nature um but what i'm really hoping for is to see continuous growth in jasmine with their kpi and that system start to work and that would really blow jasmine out the park so if you are a holder for jasmine my prayers my heart is with you i'm there uh in the trenches aside you from next to you um let's go man let's go let's get let's get it popping all right guys make sure you guys keep staying keep keep on staying on with uh run by crypto hit that like and subscribe see you guys see you soon definitely